Hey guys, and welcome to the Working Money Channel. So we're looking at the crypto market this morning on Sunday. Uh, market capitalization just above 172 billion. Most coins in the green here uh, by just over 1%. Um, looks like there's not a lot of volume. Uh, we're just basing here, and uh, this is Bitcoin on a daily, guys, after this big dump here. Now we're seeing a little bit of an uptick. Uh, this doesn't look like a strong move up, but we'll see what happens, guys. I'm going to talk a little bit about this dump later and uh, a possible reason for why we saw that. But first, I'm going to talk about this. SBI CEO Yoshitaka Katao claims Ripple's work with XRP in the Middle East region is a success and so we know that uh, Ripple has been recently uh, partnered up with the Saudi Arabian British Bank and now Yoshitaka Katao who uh, as we know has recently been added to the board at Ripple is weighing in on the matter in a latest SBI shareholders meeting. SBI CEO Yoshitaka Katao spoke about the impact that Ripple has had on the economic system as well as the negative side of the world of digital assets. Katao stated that Ripple has been actively aiming to work with Arab countries and other regions in the M E N A and not just hotspots like the United States or Europe. So uh, Ripple actively pursuing specific corridors. So it's obvious for them to target the United States, Europe uh, corridors that we know have a lot of movement. But the Middle East is one of those uh, unique corridors that Ripple is targeting. Uh, they've got a lot of money, especially in oil rich countries like Saudi Arabia, and uh, they do a lot of business worldwide. So the SBI CEO's words came in the wake of the latest Ripple Regionals, MENA, where the representatives of the company, as well as others in the banking ecosystem, came together to discuss the future of money and the integration of cross border transactions based on blockchain technology. The MENA meeting also resulted in Ripple's partnership with the Saudi British. British bank enabling international instant remittances services to India. And guys, we know Ripple has 50% of India. In terms of remittance, Ashish Birla mentioned this uh, last summer at a conference, uh, but Navin Gupta uh, tweeted, and he is Ripple's managing director for Southeast Asia, uh, and, he and he tweets here, launch of SABB's remittance corridor to India at FSC 2019 by Majid Najib. Customers can enjoy the benefit of Ripple's blockchain tech delivering transparent and real-time payments from KSA to India. The remittance corridor will leverage Ripple's blockchain technology to enable Saudi Arabian customers to conduct transactions to India in an instant. This was made keeping in mind the vast Indian diaspora present in Saudi Arabia and other Middle Eastern countries. So Ripple targeting the Middle East, uh, a great corridor there. There are a lot of Indians who uh, leave the country, go to the Middle East uh, and do work, send money home. So a great corridor for them there. Uh, this in the news as well. Thailand's largest firm taps Ripple for B to be payments. And so Petroleum Exploration Company, PTT Exploration and Production, that's PTTEP, Thailand's largest corporation, is collaborating with blockchain firm Ripple to integrate its technology for cross-border transactions. And PTTEP pulled them up here on Wikipedia. Uh, last year's revenue was uh, roughly 5.2. Two four billion. So these guys are Thailand's largest company. So they're joining uh, Siam Bank and and Ripple to accelerate cross border transactions for PTTEP. The companies have called a collaboration the first time that the bank decided to use Ripple systems in B two B format. And their announcement follows Ripple's own blog last year uh, that noted Siam Commercial Bank would become the first financial institution to join RippleNet and deploy its multi hop functionality to settle payments on behalf of other financial institutions on the network. So this eliminates the need for a direct one-to-one -one connection or bilateral relationship between FIs to settle payments. Ripple said in its blog post at the time, using multi-hop SCB will be able to receive and forward on a payment without a bilateral relationship between the originator and beneficiary institutions. This is a beginning of cooperation with financial institutions to increase the efficiency of PTTEP's cross-border financial transactions in less time, resulting in lower costs costs, said PTTEP CEO Kun Sumporn, and I can't pronounce that last name, in a translated statement who added that the initiative reflects PTTEP's determination to seek new approaches or methods to increase the efficiency of work to maintain
maintain business competitiveness. So Ripple Technology, uh, obviously a big winner in Southeast Asia, guys, where cryptocurrencies and crypto regulation is a lot more friendly over there. It's just a matter of time before the West catches up. And this finally, I wanted to go uh, to this. This was an, an actual video released by Coindesk, and it explains that uh, something shady was going on with Bitfinex and Tether, and uh, that could have caused this bit of a panic where we saw this dip here for the crypto market a few days back. Uh, I believe it was the 25th. We saw this big down day. Bitcoin went from 5,500 roughly, uh, hitting a low of 49.86 before rebounding back. And ultimately, what uh, this explains, uh, and I'll link the video in the description if you guys just want to watch it. It's a quick video, minute and 47 seconds. But ultimately, the New York Attorney General claimed that uh, Bitfinex borrowed money from Tether to cover up an $850 million loss. So they had to pay out some money and uh, Crypto Capital Corp had tied up their funds. So Crypto Capital Corp is a holdings uh, solution for obviously crypto exchanges. So what they did was they borrowed the money from Tether. The agreed upon amount was something like 625 million. They sent it over to Bitfinex who uh, then put it back to the Crypto Capital Corp account and then they transferred it back to Tether. So it looked like it was going through a different channel. Anyways, this news uh, was released and that could have been a possible cause for a little bit of a downturn in the market. But guys, ultimately the market's looking healthy ripple is doing some amazing things in this space uh, and the price of xrp will reflect that eventually we are going to see some down days you know not every day is going to be an up day and uh, not every day is going to be uh, green and shiny ultimately if we're using bitcoin as the beat of the market uh, we need to reach up here so we have to break above 6,000. uh and we've so far we've reached a high of roughly 5600 so if we hit 63 i think that is uh Going to be a good target to hit to get into this zone here. So do you guys think there still uh, is a lot to sort out in the crypto space before we see another, even a spec bull run? I want to hear what you guys think. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video if you like the content I'm providing. I always love hearing your comments. See you in the next one, guys.